How do I get out of the friend zone with a guy I like a lot? How do I make him see that nothing will end badly if we do date? How can a girl escape the friend zone successfully? I am in love with a close friend and I know that she doesn't like me as a potential romantic partner. What can I do to get out of the friend zone? Is it normal for girls to get friend zoned? I am a social person and my female friends say I'm genuinely a cute and nice man who should get a girlfriend. Why am I always friend zoned? If you want to learn today, welcome to Neka Rado Santos channel, your relationship coach. friends uh, welcome back to my channel on uh, Nekar Valdo Santos channel um, today we're gonna talk about how to escape the friend zone okay let's say you in love you in love with someone you know and you guys are you know getting to know each other but that person see you just as a friend okay that happens a lot <clears throat> that's the word none of us want to hear let's be friends okay so how do you escape that okay we're going to talk a little bit how you escape that um one of the two reasons that someone a girl or a boy don't want to uh, don't want to you know be in a relationship with you they just want to be a friend with you is one is you probably uh wait too long to tell them you know what i'm saying you waited too long to, to, to tell them that uh, you like them or something like that and the second one is because maybe they don't they don't they don't see you attractive you know they don't think you're attractive enough for them so what we do um first thing you have you have to do you have to stop pretending that you just want to be friends okay you have to show them that it's not just it's not just friend you not just only friendship that you want from them but you want more than that <clears throat> How you go? I mean, how you go by that? So you have to um, be careful. You know, be careful. Spend more time with them. I mean, spend less time with them that you would normally gonna uh, spend as friends. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like too emotional with them. Stuff like that. You know, be open always to listen to what they think. You know, and always be polite to them. You know what I'm saying? But always show them that that's not just one. Uh, what do you want? Not just friendship. You know. So well, uh, definitely, um, you have to show them that uh, what 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 you expect from them, you know, is not just that. Okay, you expect from them to to give you the opportunity, or for you guys to give each other opportunity to get to know each other, and then, then probably you know later on move to a relationship, a real relationship. 
okay? Uh, if, if you are in love with a friend, I've been recently rejected, uh, you know, it's okay to stop pretending you, you want a friendship, okay? When you secretly, secretly, secretly desire something more, in the same way uh, that nobody owes you, okay, their feelings. Nobody owes you their feelings. You don't owe anyone friendship either, okay? Especially when your mental health is affected, okay? No one wants to see the crash fall into harm of someone else, okay? None of us want to, to pain, you know, no, none of us want the pain of listening to them describing their new exciting love you know what I'm saying, interested with it, you know, showing that, you know, they find someone that they love. You don't want to listen to that, especially when you have feelings for that person. So the problem is so many of us are reluctant, okay, to take a stand, okay, and draw personal boundaries, okay. You have to draw a line. This is where you, your freedom start, I mean, hand, then this is mine, where my freedom start, okay. You have to be courageous to talk to them about, okay? In most cases, a friendship with a crash is generally one side, okay? The person who was feeling often ends up putting in a way more effort, okay? To um, end up with more effort and doing more things because they want to win the person over, over in contrast, okay? So you have to understand that people are free to love you or not to love you, okay? To have feelings towards you and not to have feelings towards you, okay? And also, you have right to decide to be friends or not friends, okay? And second step, what you're gonna do, you gotta change the perception of you by breaking patterns, okay? How do you do that? So sometimes we need to hear some brutal truth to make progress toward our goals, you know? Sometimes we have to be criticized so we can understand um, we have to change, you know, our ways in order to achieve something. And when it comes to friend zone, okay, it's, it's your crush doesn't see you sexually, okay? He doesn't see you sexually or she doesn't see you sexually. The perception is reality. Everyone maintains their own map of the world, okay? What, what type of person they like, what type of person they want to be with, what type of person they dream about, okay? Their interpretation of how things are does not matter what you think, okay? And it's not even, it's not even personal either, you okay? know? It, it matters how that person is viewing, viewing you, the way they view you, okay? the way they have their perception about you, okay? Right now, that's a friend. That's what they're thinking, okay? Not a romantic perspective. Not in a romantic prospect, okay? Nothing you say will change that, okay? You can't convince them to magically be attracted to you by explaining your qualities. You can't. If you want to be seen, like, um, differently, you need to change things up. Okay, you always, if you always text first and reply immediately, that's a bad sign, okay? You tell, you tell white lies, okay, to impress them. You know, you have set routine for contacting them. Those are bad stuff. They decide where and when you meet and you change your plans to suit them. Those are the bad things. You can't let them feel like they can treat you the way they want to treat you or they can just use you the way they want to use you, okay? You have to show them that you're not available all the time for them, okay? And we, you have other options. That's number one. You got to show them that you have other options. You're not just there for them all the time. Whenever they want, they use you, okay? That's one thing. You have to be very comfortable, confident, okay? You have to put yourself over there. Show them that you're not, you know, a nobody. You know, you're somebody, okay? that if they, if they like decide to be with you, they're just gonna benefit from it. And it's supposed to be both way, all right? Don't let them you know, just see you as a friend, see you just like someone that's not qualified to be in their life, okay? Third step, what you do, 
open yourself to new datings. You know, date a lot of different people. Don't just go and date people, like start dating people, telling people that you're in love with them. No. Date many different girls or many different guys at the same time. Get to know people, who they are, how they behave, you know, what, do you, what you like about them, what you don't like about them, you know, what, what's, what's their perception of life, what they think about life. You know what I'm saying? You have to evaluate those stuff in order for you to understand if someone is a, is a, is, is a match for you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't see things that way, then you're going to have a very, very hard time, you know, and getting off the friend zone, okay? You, 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 you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to uh, uh, date qualities, qualities and quantities at the same time, okay? And you have to um, be there, you know, explore, explore, get to know different girls. There's so much, there's more women than men in the world. So therefore, try to, you know, try to explore, try to meet people, you know, try to talk to people, you know, try to socialize with people, you know, different people, you know, different personalities, you know what I'm saying? Don't just stick to one person. Okay, don't give all your love into one into one basket, okay? Put it in many different baskets and try to learn which one is the perfect for you, which one is a match for you, okay? Date many different people at the same time, okay? Step four, if you still want them, make a move, okay? Make a move. Don't stay there and, you know, uh, wait for them, you know, to whatever, for the situation to get into friend zone. Tell people that you like them, okay? But be careful how you tell them that, all right? Don't give them all the ball, okay? Don't give them everything. Show them that uh, you have options, okay? And they have to understand that. You know, if you like someone, move into it, you know? Don't be, like, too, like, you know, show, like, you, 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 you're always available for them. Don't do that. That's wrong. That's how you get caught in that situation, a friend zone, all right? Thank you very much for being part of the today's episode. Please, uh, I want to hear about you guys. What you think about how, how people can get off the, the friend zone situation. And I want to hear from every single one of you guys. You can comment down, down, uh, you know, down the comment side. If you like, throw it up. And please, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Subscribe. Help me, you know, build, you know, you know raise this uh, channel. To the top okay let's work together thank you very much enjoy your weekend bye bye